you can make every night taco night at your house with this recipe for easy oven baked tacos. Now I'm a crispy shell taco kind of gal, but the problem with those crispy shells is you bite into them, they crack, and the entire filling of your taco ends up on your plate. Well, with these easy oven baked tacos, that's not a problem because they slightly soften up as you bake and the filling stays where it should. They're easy, delicious, picky eater proof, and the entire family is gonna love them. Growing up, one of my mom's go-to weeknight dinners were tacos, and they're one of mine too. Today's recipe for oven-baked tacos is very quickly gonna become one of your go-to dinner ideas too. Let's get started. Okay, we're gonna start by prepping our pan that we're going to bake the tacos in. Now, I'm gonna show you a little trick that's gonna help prevent the bottoms of your tacos from getting soggy. Whatever size pan you're using, just make two, roll up two like logs of foil that are the length of your pan and place those into your pan. Then we're gonna take our taco shell and we're gonna set the taco shell, it's gonna sit right on top of that foil. So it's gonna hold that taco up and it won't sit in any liquid that may form in the bottom of your pan. I am loving these flat bottom crispy taco shells that you can find now. They make it so much easier, especially for kids because the taco sits right upright on their plate and not on their side with everything falling out. So if you can find these, give them a trial. But we're just gonna line, take our tacos and line them up here into our pan. Like I said, I'm making about six tacos because there was only two of us, so. So we're ready to make our filling for our tacos. Today we are using hamburger. Now if you prefer, you could use ground turkey, you could use ground chicken, whatever you like. Um, I've got about a pound, a pound and a quarter of hamburger in here. This is one of these recipes that's easy to stretch if you're feeding more people. You could add, actually even if you're short on meat, add some beans in with it too, and that would work great. So I've got my pound of hamburger all nice and browned up. I'm gonna take two tablespoons of minced dried onion. You could use fresh onion too, if that's what you have. Add that in. And then we're gonna add in a can of diced green chilies. I like to use the mild. An eight ounce can of tomato sauce. And then a package of dried taco seasoning mix. And we're just gonna stir that up and let it simmer for a little bit. Now, depending on the fat content of your meat, you may need to drain your meat a bit so that you don't have excess um, fat in there. Okay, after your meat mixture is thickened up a little bit, we are getting ready to fill our tacos. Now, just a little tip. Now, if you've added some beans into your meat mixture, it's gonna have a tendency to make it a little more soupy. So if that is the case, Take some of your cheese and add just a little bit of cheese. I'm using a grated Mexican blend here. I think it's like cheddar and Colby. You can use Monterey Jack, um, whatever you like. But I like to put just a little bit of cheese on the bottom because what this is gonna do, it's gonna create a little bit of a barrier between the meat bean mixture and the shell to prevent it again from not getting soggy. And then we're ready to put in our meat mixture. Just kind of fill them up about halfway because we want to leave um, room for some of our other toppings. So after you have your meat mixture in, we're ready to add the cheese. And we're just going to add another little sprinkle of cheese on the top. Then they are ready to go into the oven at 400 degrees for 10 to 12 minutes. You just wanna bake them until the cheese gets nice and melty and the shell starts to crisp up. So our tacos are out of the oven. They're nice and just crispy brown slightly around the edges and the cheese is melted and we're ready to put our toppings on. Now you can use whatever your favorite taco topping is. At my house, we like to put a little lettuce on it and some chopped up tomato. Now, when I was a kid, I liked ketchup on my tacos but not anymore. And now we're ready for the taste test. That crispy taco shell, but slightly softened thanks to baking them. No crumbly taco shell. So they're still crispy without falling apart. They're not soggy on the bottom. It's a perfect, easy dinner idea. Thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. You can find the recipe for these easy oven baked tacos in the description below. 
And be sure to click over here to check out some of the other easy dinner idea videos here on YouTube. And as always, I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel and turn on that little notification bell down below so that you'll be notified every time a new video drops here on YouTube.